Hey guys, Chloe here, back with another episode of Roundtable Talk. Today I have our new pre-owned vehicle sales manager, Jeff Miller, with us here today. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Awesome. We're happy to have you. So we're just going to dive right in. So just tell us a little bit about yourself, like any unique hobbies you have, what you like to do when you're not working. Okay. Well, I've been in Cincinnati my entire life. Uh, I, you know, enjoy the area, the Bengals and the Reds, right? Yep. Um, it, it basically, I, I work, work, we work a lot, obviously, in the car mm -hmm. business. Um, and off my off time, I collect oil cans. Okay. I do a lot of yard work, so I like it, uh, like you know keeping the yard nice and the flowers and all that. And then my wife and I put a pool in about seven years ago, so oh, wow. enjoy yeah, the pool a lot. <laughs> yeah, so. and it's, that's a lot of up work as well. Okay. It is, yeah. yeah. So I keep busy. So tell us a little bit more about these oil cans, because that is a very unique. Well, during COVID, you know, you couldn't do anything. So we, my wife and I started going to flea markets, mm -hmm. and going to the flea markets, I started seeing oil cans. You know, one or two here, one mm -hmm. or two there. I said, this would look pretty good. I had a vision and in the garage, I lined them up against the, on the top of the wall in the garage and just started buying them. And then just, you know, 50 cans later, here I am. So what's the most like unique one that you have? Uh, what's your favorite one? Well, I don't have the, the most unique one. There's a the Sinclair dinosaur one okay. that is pristine. Those are kind of expensive. What's, what does that run? Like? Uh, probably about well, $150, $200. It would be very Seems expensive like a for, yeah. for a collectible item, <laughs> yeah, right? Sure. It's not like it's a dinner or anything. Yeah. Like, uh, my favorite can is a shell can, mm -hmm. you know, but I have like a Texaco, Ohio, obviously old Ohio for being from Ohio. So just, you know, just That's cool. a bunch and of cans. kind of relates to the car industry as well. So right, yeah, I've been a car nut my whole life, so. Yeah. so then that leads me into my next question. How long have you been in the car industry? Well, a friend of mine got me in the car business in 97, okay. um, 1997, so about 26 years. Uh, I've enjoyed every bit of a manager for about uh, 15 of them. So awesome. That's incredible. Enjoy, enjoy it. So then your friend is who got you into the business? Yes. So were you yes. selling cars first? Yeah, I started or? selling cars first. And my first uh, car deal was a, we took care of the customer. The customer was really happy. And, you know, it was just a great experience. And that first month I sold a lot of cars. And I haven't looked back. So awesome. it's, you know, you a been a long time. Yeah. yeah, I love that. <laughs> so then being at the Mark Williams Auto Group and we have, you know, our lifetime powertrain warranty, does that make you feel more comfortable, you know, selling a pre-owned vehicle because you know that we have that guarantee? Yeah, it does. So to me, it's, it's about taking care of the customer. And that's mm -hmm. why I've been successful all these years is taking care of the customer and treat them right, mm -hmm. treat them like family. And, and the lifetime powertrain is, is a big selling point for us as a mm -hmm. store uh, because the customers, um, you know, just have that peace of mind. Yes, and for exactly. us as, as salespeople and sales managers, we have peace of mind then knowing that the cars went through service, mm -hmm. been inspected thoroughly, and obviously we're putting a good product out for a customer to buy, so they have peace of mind with their families as well. So. Yeah, I love it. it's like a win-win for us because we know we're delivering a great product right. and they're going to get one as well. Right. So then what's a tip that you would give someone if they were looking to buy a pre-owned vehicle? Well, the biggest tip really is just obviously, you know, do your homework, make sure the cars. It's what you want, number one. Number two, is it's been quality inspected. Unfortunately, been being in the business as long as I have, not every dealer inspects mm -hmm. their cars. Mm -hmm. So I know we don't do that. We inspect them very well before we put them out. Mm -hmm. uh, Carfax history or the auto, the history um, check yeah. on the car. Uh, that, that's big because if you check that out and you, you know you're getting a car and obviously drive the car before you buy it. A lot, mm -hmm. of, a lot of dealers anymore just say, here's the keys, go look at the car or you're buying online, which is, can be a little scary from some dealers. I know from us it's not because obviously the cars are yeah. ready to go. So, and we stand behind them. So yes, we do. Um, that's important. Yeah, so then that leads me into my next question. So we always say we want to be your dealership for life. So what does that mean to you? Well, to me, it's just a beginning experience when we first meet the customer that every time that customer comes in the store, everyone's he's still greeting that customer. They're part of our family now. So you wouldn't ignore somebody walking through the door. You would you acknowledge them and, you know, staying with that customer, helping them if they have a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously they're coming back for more cars and that we would just continue to work with our customers and give them a great experience. Yeah, I love Whether it be that. the first time or the last time or any time is, is you know, yeah. is, is what we do. So I love that so much. Awesome. Well, if you guys would like to get in touch with Jeff, we'll put his information on the screen. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Thank you.